All right, you are still watching Waze. Um, every year on July 14, France celebrates Bastille Day, um, which, is, which has historical and cultural significance. It honors the Bastille storming in 1789, which marked a turning point in French history. A great celebration of Bastille Day 2023, complete with customary activities and a special appearance by the Indian Prime Minister. Uh, Narendra Modi was what happened on this day today in history. Mm -hmm. When I read <laughs> this is time you wish you were in Alliance Francais yeah. because uh, hey, they would do so many activities mm -hmm. and they might actually do tonight actually. I'm sure they, and they will always they always have those you know fun activities that they plan out for days like this. All right, so um, Nello, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, hmm. when I saw this story, I'm like. Times must be really, really hard in this country because for someone to go this extent, then <laughs> it is, I don't know, it is well with us and our souls in this country. Okay, so man arrested for selling his three children for 1.5 million naira in River State. And the River State Police Command has arrested one Michael Charles, alias Tengod Equeme who allegedly took advantage of the deafness of his wife to sell their three children for a total of 1.5 million naira, And then he even sold them according to their ages. So he sold the five-year-old for 700,000, the three-year-old for 350,000, and a day-old baby for 500,000 naira. I'm convinced that this man is also mentally derailed because how do you even look at your own children from your loins and then decide to sell them off, including a day-old child that his wife literally just gave birth to? I can't, I don't know. I can't just understand. You see how? You know people like that, they believe that the way I got these three, I will get another yeah. set. Do you understand? Because and at that point, the of the children. at that point, maybe she might not agree, but at that point, right, what he's thinking is survivor. What do I need to do to be able to make money? So he hears that people are doing this kind of things, right? Um, he's not thinking about the fact that these are actually his children. They are not adopted children. They are actually his, his blood. His blood. You know, you know it's, and it's actually strange. And would have bought from him to have a problem. Because Why how do you he... even buy children? Hmm. From... Why is the baby factory um, business still booming? That's why people buy children. Because a lot of people are desperate. In fact, the one that got the day-old baby is the biggest winner. Do you understand? It's the biggest winner because the day old baby, you know, that baby has not interacted with anybody yet. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for you to even just, you know what, integrate quickly. Mm -hmm. Maybe the five year old will know that this is not my parents mm -hmm. or whatever. It's very sad. But you see, I don't even know how to categorize this crime. I wish we had a lawyer, but um, I don't know how to categorize it because it's their, it's their property. It's, so to him, in his mind, I'm, I have three cars. I just want to let them go. And instead of suffering, let me get money for it in for, return. For 1.5 million. So he sees them as, what I mean, he, he's not looking at them as human mm -hmm. beings. He's actually mm -hmm. seeing them Commodities. as properties <laughs> that he owns. Do you understand? Well. If you give him opportunity again to say, you know what, even your wife, you know, if I, you know, I can, I can give you 3 million, he would, he would gladly oblige. Because this woman now can't even express herself because apparently she's, she's hard of hearing and mm. speaking, so... <sighs> It's sad. It's very sad. And in, the truth is not to, not to put more uh, petrol in the fire, but it's going to get worse. Do you understand? Because it's already very bad as it is, but it's going to get worse because now everybody will look for opportunities. Remember one story we took? I can't remember which part of the African countries that they sell their toes. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That the biggest <laughs> is the most one. expensive and all of that. Mm -hmm. All those things is in a bit to survive. You know, if I have like mm -hmm. ten toes, which who ten toes help? Mm -hmm. so my go sell, <laughs> go sell for my collect money. All right, so my story is just mm -hmm. like a news flash because we don't really have so much details on it. But I thought to mention it that um, the Nigerian Air Force, um, one of their fighter jets, you know, had crashed today in Makodi, um, Benue State Capital, and um, that's according to the Punch. And um, they say that these details are a bit sketchy because they don't really know. As at the filing of this report, they don't have so much details on it. But the good news in this is that um, two personnel of the Nigerian um, Air Force on board ejected um, unhurt. So it's possible that they used the parachute or whatever it is, but they were able to come out of the, the, um, the plane before it crashed. So I'm happy that's good news because, again, I remember when 
um, I think many years ago, was it 2019, one of the stories we took in the news was um, military training, when they were jumping from, and the guy jumped and the parachute failed. It didn't work, although I think he survived. I'm not so sure again now, because it's been a long time we took that story. Mm. Um, but we'd like to know more details here, because um, I was on Instagram and I saw videos of, I think a plane crash and nobody died actually. I mean, that one really burnt and nobody died. They were able to evacuate everybody before anything happens. And that's usually not really the case. So when you hear things like this, that they were able to eject themselves and they are safe, so we don't know how many of them were on board. Yeah. So, but at least you know some were yeah, able to eject, uh, eject themselves for before the crash. So, we'll look forward to probably like checking out on the story if we get reports again in the news about it. But on that note, let us take a break. As you can see, that today I'm very chill. You see, we're on this day. <laughs> Let's see how we can speak to employers, right? How they can make the employees a lot more comfortable at work. You know making sure that they are holistic um, and I mean this is now putting putting the spotlight on their mental well-being because again if you have truly have you know happy staff delivery would just be great yeah all right stay with us we'll be right back <laughs> 